Okay, in this next set of videos, I want to take a look at how we can start with our sketches and turn them into patterns. Now, before we do that though, we need to really make sure, actually the way that I'm doing this, that the sketches that we're using will render nicely inside of Illustrator. So this is the story. I'm just going to open up the sketch so we can see. It's a little small. thought it was a little bit larger, but that's okay. Um, so we can see that I really have a black and white image. Um, and I have another one here somewhere too, but I'll find that one in a minute. So here goes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take my sketch and I'm going to turn it into a vector. So I have an image here and I could just go file open and open it, but since I already have an artboard, start, artboard started, I'm going to come to file place and I'm going to come and find that image in this sea of files that I have. I hit place and there it is. Okay, this one is rather small. Um, probably should have scanned it at a little bit of a higher resolution, but that's okay. I'm going to click here and I'm going to turn it into a black and white logo and see what that looks like. And you know, I actually do like that so far. So I'm going to come on in, make this one a little bit bigger, see what it looks like. All right, it has like a very kind of geometric feel to it. It looks like it all is closed. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit expand. And now I'm going to get rid of this white area around it. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I was to come on in, make a shape, change the color of it, come object arrange, send to back, I can see that there's white all around this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and delete that white just using the white arrow and now I have this image here. Now sometimes what will happen I can see that when I brought this all in that it is seeing it as it's RGB but it's rendering it as a grayscale. So sometimes what you have to do so for instance if I was to come in and say oh, I want to change this color and open up and choose a color it's just going in with the gray. So when that happens what you want to do is open up the recolor artwork and we can change the color in here. So if I come in, I can change the saturation and just by doing that, it now will render it with a color. And that's what I want to do. Okay, beautiful. All right, so <clears throat> not wild about this color. Let me choose another color. I'm going to go more in for this color right in here. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So now I want to add in another branch to that I'm going to use to create this pattern. So again, I want to find this one and I'm going to come to place and I need to find it. So I need to figure out where it is that I placed this one. I know that I named it sketch one. All right, so my question is, is do I want to place this next one on this artboard Ooh, or do I want to create a new file and open up and turn this new image into a vector? Really either way works. Um, I'm going to leave this one right here and I'm going to actually do it in a separate file. And I'm going to show you how to take those two files and bring them and put them into one file to create a pattern. So I have this little image here. And uh, I'll save it. I'm going to come File, Save As, and I'll name this Branch 1. Again, I'm going to make sure that I know where I'm saving it. I'm going to hit OK. Beautiful. Now I'm going to come to File, Open, and I'm going to find the sketch, and I'm going to open this one. OK, so I'm going to come on in, Open. Now sometimes the thing with working in Illustrator is that there's multiple ways to do the same thing and that's awesome but it also can be a little overwhelming. Uh, there's lots of places where you can get lost. Okay, so I have this image here and I'm going to try this one as black and white logo. Now if you're finding when you do the black and white logo it's just not working out, go for the three colors, go for the six colors, see what that looks like. So but I've tested this one. I know that it works black and white logo. Now, the only thing that I'm not so happy about is when I come on down to this area in here, this shape isn't closed. So I want to fix that. Um, if I wanted to, I could come in and, and move this line over, but I like the way that the rest of this looks. So I'm going to hit expand 
Excellent. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this white all around it. So I'm going to come on in. I'm going to grab my white arrow, right? Uh, my black arrow, again, when I click my black arrow, it selects the whole thing. I select off. I grab my white arrow and it will just delete the white, okay? Again, I can test this and see what's happening by just creating a shape, adding color to that shape. Again, this one's coming in as a grayscale, and I know in order to fix this, I need to just up, it's not reading the saturation. I probably saturated it too much, but that's okay. Colors coming in, object arrange, send to back. Okay, so I can see that I got rid of that, but again, I wanna close this shape in here. I want to change this background color too. Don't like the way that one looks. Okay, there we go. Okay, sometimes with the color behind it, you can get a different sense of what it looks like. All right, so here goes. What do I want to do now? I want to close this shape up. And I said I wanted that color there, but I'm going to move it over the shape as I'm doing this. Okay, let's move this on over here. I'll bring it back in a minute. All right, so I'm going to click onto this. I am going to grab my blob brush tool. I'm going to zoom on in. And I am going to, uh oh, wrong color, close that shape. Okay, wrong color. Let's change that color. We want it to be black. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up. Oh, black is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, so. Um, six F's, six zeros. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to keep it straight in your head than I can. All right, so here goes. So I'm gonna close this with my blob brush. I'm gonna click, bring this on over. Okay, um, now let's see, maybe make this a little bit smaller. Add in another one. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's click off. Now this shape is still moving separately. Um, and I want it to be connected to it. So in order to connect it to it, select this. I'm going to grab my white arrow and I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to select this area right next to it. Then I'm going to open up my pathfinder and I'm going to merge them. I'm going to unite them. Unite. Excellent. Okay, so sometimes when you do the unite, it doesn't all move together the way that you want it to. So I just hit unite and it didn't actually work. Um, so sometimes you have to do a little bit of troubleshooting. So what I'm going to do is I want to come in here and just select the anchor points that I want to unite. So I'm going to just grab my lasso and I'm just going to come around and just select right into this section because that's the piece that I want to unite. And then I can click that and now it unites. Yeah, it filled in part of it with black, right? You don't always get that much control. Now, I'm moving this over and I can see that my drawing had all these other pieces with it. And, um, you know, I'm just going to say, hey, I'm going to get rid of these guys. They were kind of this residual stuff anyway. And this is what it is. I have this shape right here. And I also have this shape over in here. Now, I'm going to get rid of this shape here. I'm going to come File, Save As. I'm going to save this one as branch two. Save. Okay. All right. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to take branch one and branch two, bring them together and create an overall pattern working with your sketches. Thanks so much.